guys, Caleb here, and welcome to my very second vlog, and I'm going to be filming this all with my new phone. It's going to be really, really cool. Quite as much interesting stuff is going on this week as there was last vlog, but there should still be some pretty interesting stuff happening, because tomorrow I'm going to be going to Target to try and find the LEGO Architecture New York Skyline, because I would like to pick that up. So hopefully tomorrow we can go to Target, and I can try and pick that up. It's currently Saturday afternoon. It's just kind of an absolute wreck of Legos in here, and I'm working on my big Jedi Cruiser mock. It turned out pretty good so far. I'm probably going to do a bit more work on it. And, you know, got parts for it, and of course everything's just kind of a total mess, so I'm really going to have to clean this up in the next couple days. But first, I'd like to finish this and get a video on out it in uh, out on it in the next day or two. Video me and you did is uploading now. What do you think of it? Yeah, it's pretty good. We're approaching the Lego aisle. It's so weird. It's a taco. It's like, ew, it's like a beanbag. That's weird. They have quite a few. I'm going between the New York one and the Dubai one, and I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to get. But they got the Aston Martin, the Fiat. Got quite a few, actually. Got quite a few. They do have the new X-Wing and Imperial Shuttle, which look pretty good. Got Dio, some helmets, got the AAT, I kind of like this one, but not going to buy that today. Yeah, Target's looking pretty stocked up on Lego today. Even got, of course, Lego video, no, untouched. I, love awful. I know. <laughs> Quite a lot of Lego here, I'm kind of impressed. Way to go, Target. I am absolutely torn between buying New York and buying Dubai. They both look... Absolutely incredible. I was leaning more to, toward New York. That's the one I was going to buy. But now that I look at Dubai, it looks really nice. You even got the Lady Jean CMF. Opening it up. Oh, what do yeah. you get? What is it? I got the uh, Wildy Coyote. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah, no. that's the best one. This is one of the ones I wanted. No, definitely, yeah. Oh, yes. That's it. Alright, what do you get, Abs? Pull it out. Oh, that's the Tasmanian oh. Devil guy. <laughs> He's pretty cool. I ended up picking Dubai, and I'm not necessarily disappointed. I'm about a little over halfway through building it, and I still have to build the Burj Khalifa, which is going to turn out about two times the size of this. So it's going to be quite, quite tall once it's done. Very excited, but definitely not really regretting buying this over New York. Like, so far, I honestly think it's a little bit cooler than New York. And definitely a very, very fun building experience so far, and I've been working on it this afternoon. I think the main thing I have to do now is get this thing cleaned up. I think I'm going to delay the building of this for another day or two, because right now I'm working on all that stuff. So I think this is going to have to get put off for another day or two. I'm almost done building Dubai. I pretty much just need the top peak of it, which is pretty fun. It has been a bit of a repetitive build around the Burj Khalifa. Besides that, it's a pretty good build. Almost finished. Just finished building the Lego Architecture Dubai Skyline, and it really does look absolutely incredible. I'm quite surprised at how tall the Burj Khalifa really is. Like, this thing is huge. Like, it is honestly massive, which is very, very good to see. Even as a little helicopter landing pad there. In total, it took me about two and a half hours. Like, it was a pretty substantially long build, but I honestly gotta say, it looks incredible, not regretting this over New York at all, because this looks incredible. Sort of suck because I literally just made a video on my entire architecture collection. What I'm planning to do is probably doing a comparison of this and the San Francisco skyline over there. I think that'd be an interesting comparison to do, see kind of which one's more worth it, which one looks better, and just kind of a comparison between the two I think would be very interesting. Planning on reviewing this guy tomorrow. For the past pretty much four months, this has been my most viewed video. The I entered into the Lego Brits mock contest at 219 views. For a while, that was my most viewed video. But as of this morning on, I believe it's April 25th of 2021, I have a new most viewed video. And that is, let's see here. The shout out to the Lego Brit that is at 221 views. So that's at 
two more views than the one where I entered the Lego Brits mod contest, which is sort of crazy. I honestly didn't quite expect to get that many views. I think a lot of it was because I used a hashtag, so a bunch of people from his channel saw it and came and saw my channel. So it kind of helped the both of us because I was shouting his, out his channel, but a bunch of people from his channel saw my channel. So that is now my most viewed video, which is kind of crazy today. I think I'm going to finish my school and then get a spot for this Dubai Skyline. It's either going to go up here or where Steamboat Willie is, but most likely where Steamboat Willie is for now. So I think next up, I'm pretty much just going to find a home for Dubai on my shelf. I'm probably going to put it where San Francisco's at and put San Francisco somewhere down here. Because I can move Steamboat Willie back over there along with some of these minifigs and the bricks of River Walk and just go to the side. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do and Dubai should be going up here. So as of now, we pretty much have the Dubai skyline right across from the Statue of Liberty here. And for now, I think it looks pretty good. I like how it looks with the Ohio State Buckeyes thing above it. And I especially like how it looks next to the Statue of Liberty. My two tallest sets, you know, next to each other looks pretty cool. And then I have my San Francisco below there. The Bricks of Murder Wall, some minifigs I'm going to be reviewing later this week, most likely. And the Newton's Cradle, and then, of course, the Bookshop. But I am pretty happy with how this turned out. It would have been cool if I was able to fit in the San Francisco somewhere up here. So you have all my architecture sets. Maybe I'll figure out a way to do that sometime on that shelf over there. But for now, this is about what I've got. And I'm pretty happy with it because you'll be able to see it, you know, when I'm making my videos, which is going to be cool. All right, whenever you are. Oh. <laughs> you good? <laughs> wow. Currently a Wednesday afternoon. I pretty much just finished up all my school. I didn't really vlog anything yesterday yesterday because it was very busy with school so I didn't really vlog that much of it but today I got my school done and posted the mock contest video on what exactly the rules for that are and so far only one person's going to be entering but hopefully more people enter in the next month we shall see I think tonight we're going to my grandmother's house and it's also really really hot outside today it's supposed to get up to like 85 here in Maryland so it's going to be Wait a hot day. I might get outside a little bit, but it's a little bit too hot for me right now. Get some Seabrick gaming footage here. I'm playing Warface and I'm waiting for a game to load. Hot day long afternoon. Here we go. I'm waiting for a game to load. It's been taking me a while for the game to load. Seabrick gaming footage here. I'm doing Mario Kart Switch. I'm doing a time trial run. Just have one speed left, but I think I'm gonna save it for the donut. Catch some good drifts here. Take the boot back this time. Why are there two kids playing here? Not sure. It's really tight drifts here. Alright, as I said, we're gonna try and. We'll get through the donut here. Yeah, let's see. Oh, the wall. Alright, still made it out. There we go. Sweet. It's only Thursday morning, and I don't have too much to do today either. 
However, my parents bought a new vacuum cleaner because our old one broke, so I am going to be testing this out for the first time in our room because it definitely needs some vacuuming, so we're going to use this new vacuum and get that done. Seabrick vacuum review here. This actually has a really good, like, pivot. Like, it's really easy to, like, turn it when you lean it one way, so that's actually really cool. It does have this wind-up cord, so usually with the other one you hit the pedal and it all wound up. This one you have to, like, manually wind it up, which is a bit annoying, but I do really like how this, like, steers. It's kind of cool. Finished vacuuming and did a pretty surprisingly bang job in here. Like, this did, actually did a really good job. Definitely better than our old vacuum. Our old vacuum was really crappy, and this is definitely a pretty nice step up. Ooh, that looks good. Four. What? Uh -huh. Got a random piece of shrimp in her french fries. I think that's shrimp, yeah. Alright, so we got the game all loaded in. My main guy is pretty much Frozone, because he's really got this epic icy power that I always loved. But we also got Bob here. You know, like running off the top of the whole building here. Drop. I'm gonna rob this car. <laughs> there you go. It's the same car. <laughs> wow. It's very tight looking. Oh crap, this this car is used the best. This is so fast, this car. Oh, dang it. Let's go. Can I fit? Yeah. It's even got some like crazy weird characters. Like you can actually play as Lightning McLean. And he's he is quite weird, but yeah, we've got some weird characters. I wonder what happens if I drive into the water here. Let's see. Oh, oh, he dies. Oh my gosh, that's dark. Little hack I have. If you get on top of the tunnel, like on the train station, and you get in the bubble and you go off, you can actually like roll along the train tracks, which is pretty epic. And if there's a train coming, we can actually hop onto the train. I'm looking for the train station because that'd probably be the easiest way to get to it. It looks like the station's right here, and then I should be able to just kind of board the train from here. If I have my trusty pal Violet around here. There we go. And bubble up, and we can probably just get onto the track. The train should be here in a second, and I'll catch up when I'm actually on it. Alright, so I pretty much made it onto the train. I, like, barely made it onto it. I wasn't really recording then. But you can do anything you do like normally on a road, just on a train, you can change characters, you know. You can do whatever you want here, for some reason it's not letting my character change on the train. But yeah, you can move on, around on a train and everything. And once we get to this tunnel, I'll probably have to hop off here, so jump off in the water. Oh, made it on here. But yeah, we can jump down to the water, and you can get onto the train. I tried the first time, but it wasn't actually recording. So I did get it on footage this time, so... I think that is going to do it for this week's vlog. I'm sorry if it was a little bit boring because I didn't have quite as much stuff to do. But thank you for watching if you stuck around to this far. Seabrick Productions, signing off for now. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.